Ibrutinib targets BTK, so it's a critical molecule in, in B cell receptor signaling, but it also targets several other uh, tyrosine kinases, which are, which are possibly related to some of the side effects seen with the drug. And um, uh, the, the new drug, for, it used to be known as ACP196, or acalabrutinib, as it's now, now called, is a more specific BTK inhibitor. So it hits less of the other kinases, and it hits BTK harder. And what we're seeing with the, we've had the phase one trial, which we've been participating on in the UK, and certainly in Leeds, we've had a lot of patients, are very impressive response rates, with very few patients actually progressing on treatment, and, and less side effects, it would appear, there's no as yet, there's no comparison, comparative trials between ibrutinib and acalabrutinib, but we're seeing, you know, very few uh, atrial, uh, atrial fibrillation, uh, cardiac signals, which we see with ibrutinib, and very little bruising or, or bleeding with, with the drug. And so I think there's real promise that this might be a more effective uh, uh, agent going forward and, and uh, gives us sort of an extra um, tool, if you like, to, to treat CLL.